I have five things that you should know if you're being asked to co-sign for someone's mortgage. Number one, paperwork. You're gonna be asked to provide just as much stuff as the main buyer when it comes to buying a house. Pay stubs, W-2s, bank statements, IDs, all the basic items you're gonna be asked for as well. So a lot of people think that they just have their credit pulled, we see that the credit's great, we move on down the road, but that's not the case. We have to see all the paperwork too for what you're looking to co-sign for. Number two, you're gonna to have to go to closing. So know that closing takes about an hour or so, but know that you'll need to be at closing. Whether it's in a mobile notary type capacity or whatever, you have to sign too on, that, on the paperwork for the house, just like the main buyer will. A lot of people think they don't have to do that. They just have to say, yes, I'll co-sign and that's it. But you do have to sign the paperwork. And to that point, your spouse may have to go and sign paperwork as well. Texas is a community property state. So what you do when you're married is a community property issue, and so your spouse may have to go sign too. Number three, you're gonna be on that mortgage until the mortgage no longer exists. So whether that means the mortgage refinanced, whether that means they paid off the mortgage, or whether that means they sold the house, you're on that mortgage until the mortgage no longer exists. So a lot, some people think that they can just call an 800 number, and ask to be removed, and it doesn't work that way. You would the person actually would have to qualify to have you removed from their mortgage. So know that you'd be on there for 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 a while, right? Number four, if anything negative happens with that mortgage that could reflect on credit, like a late payment, a foreclosure, anything like that, that would actually show up on your credit too. So a lot of people are like, I'll co-sign. They're going to make the payment. Great. But if anything goes wrong, it shows up on your credit just because you're equally responsible for that mortgage. So a lot of times, co-signers will probably agree because they know that if something potentially could be negative, they'll just go ahead and handle it. Like if somebody had lost their job and they know that if that mortgage is not paid, that they're gonna, it's gonna go be a ding on their credit. So to protect their credit, they'll just make the payment. So some people go just knowing that negative um, that worst case scenario situation that to protect their credit. The fifth thing is your spouse needs to know that you're purchasing or that you're co-signing for someone. It is not something that you want to hide. I don't let my personal opinion know on a lot of things, but this truly is important. You want your spouse to know if you're co-signing. That is not fair because what you do affects your spouse for sure. But in Texas, Texas being a community property state, like I said before, your spouse may need to know one way or the other whether you wanted to keep it a secret or not because uh, a lot of times spouses do have to sign at closing when something's being purchased like a home. And you are purchasing just like your buyer is even if you're just co-signing if that's, that's what you're doing. So I hope this information helps. Let your spouse know if you're doing something like that. There is not a wrong or right to this. You just need to know. You just need to know the negatives to it. Um, the positive is that you're helping somebody, helping somebody that you probably really love. And so that's amazing, but just know everything you need to walking into it. And then that way there's no surprises. All right. Have a great day. Bye.